Hello, how you doing? Did you know that most LLMs have a feature called function calling that enables the overall LLM driven system to invoke external databases, functions, or third party APIs? Well, if you had not heard about this, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So how does LLM function calling work? Well, let's first look at the life cycle of an LLM function call. Here is our LLM driven system. This is a system you build that runs on your laptop or in a container on a virtual machine in your data center or up in the cloud. For example, you might implement this LLM driven system using Langchain, Langgraph, or Llama Index. This is basically your application. Your LLM driven system might have its own functions within the same code base, or it might have access to a relational database such as PostgreSQL or MySQL, or maybe even access to a vector database, or it might have access to a third party API. FYI, just to give you a heads up, sometimes functions in this context are also referred to as tools. But if you see either of these terms in this video, we're talking about the same thing. So what is the benefit of integrating to these functions or tools? Well, they give the overall LLM driven system access to more functionality, more capabilities, and more real-time data. Of course, the LLM driven system also integrates with an LLM. So to understand the LLM function calling feature, let's step through the life cycle of a prompt to the LLM. In step one of this life cycle, the LLM driven system prompts the LLM. In this step, the LLM provides a list of functions along with a description on what each function does along with the parameters that you would pass to each function. In step two, the LLM receives the prompt along with the list of functions and their respective parameter lists. And the LLM determines if calling one of these functions is needed to generate a final response. If so, the LLM replies back to the LLM driven system with a function invocation, including the parameters to use in this invocation. In step three, the LLM driven system will then invoke the function using the parameters the LLM sent back. In step four, the LLM driven system will then take the results from the function and call the LLM again, passing the function results. In step five, the LLM will use the function results to generate a final response and send it back to the LLM driven system. It's really important to note that the LLM itself is not calling the function. In this example, the LLM determines that calling a function or tool is required to generate the final answer. And so it returns the invocation details back to the LLM driven system and the LLM driven system then calls the function or external tool. So why does the LLM not call the function itself? I mean, the name of this feature, LLM function calling, definitely implies this. Well, based on system design best practices, here are my thoughts on this. The first involves a system design principle known as statelessness. LLMs are inherently stateless. What this means is that when an LLM gets a request, it generates a response based on the input context in the prompt. The LLM does not maintain or persist session data of any prior interactions with the LLM driven system. For the LLM provider, this is an ideal design choice as this allows the LLM to scale horizontally. Since each request is independent, Load balancers can distribute incoming traffic across multiple LLM instances efficiently. If LLMs were to execute on function calls, it would require the LLMs themselves to manage the function calls, forcing them to maintain state, track errors, perform necessary retries, requiring more control and persistence than LLMs are designed to handle. Another system design best practice is separation of concerns. Looking at the overall system, 
the LM focuses on natural language understanding and text generation. Alternatively, the LM-driven system should handle any function calls, database queries, API authentication, data handling, and error management. This separation of responsibilities simplifies both LLM design and the orchestration of integrating to external systems. Another system design consideration is around security. Direct access to external tools or systems by an LLM could pose significant security risks. A better approach is to delegate a function and tool call to the LLM-driven system. The LLM-driven system can enforce strict access control, validate inputs, and monitor activity. Another system design consideration is error handling. External tools or APIs often involve network calls and database queries that can fail, requiring management of timeouts, rate limiting, and error recovery. LLMs are not designed to handle these operational aspects efficiently. So now you should understand conceptually how function calling is used in the life cycle of a prompt in an LLM driven system. You should understand that the LLM accepts the prompt along with a list of functions that are available. If the LLM determines a function can help with the final response, it will respond back to the LLM driven system with the function invocation details, which the LLM driven system uses and then executes on. The results are sent back to the LLM, which uses the function results to generate the final response. I plan on creating a video implementing function calling in the near future. Keep an eye out for this video if this sounds interesting to you. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud, machine learning and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thank you.